In the previous lectures we finished talking about the antiplatelet and anticoagulant drugs. So in this lecture we're going to talk about the thrombolytic drugs. This category of drugs acts by converting plasminogen into plasmin that simply degrades and dissolves fibrin clots. Fibrinolytic drugs may lies both normal and pathologic thrombi. This category of drugs include alteplase, reteplase and tenecteplase, urokinase, streptokinase, and estroplase. Alteplase was known as tissue plasminogen activator, or TPA. It is a serine protease that was originally derived from cultured human melanoma cells. But it's now obtained as a product, of recombinant DNA technology. Reteplase is a genetically engineered, smaller derivative of recombinant tissue plasminogen activator. Tenecteplase is another recombinant tissue plasminogen activator, that has a longer half-life and greater binding affinity for fibrin, than alteplase. Alteplase has a low affinity for free plasminogen in the plasma, but it rapidly activates plasminogen that is bound to fibrin, in a thrombus or a hemostatic plug, so for this reason, alteplase is said to be, fibrin selective, at low doses. It has a very short half-life of about 5 to 30 minutes. Alteplase is approved for the treatment of myocardial infarction, massive pulmonary embolism, and acute isthmic stroke. It may cause orolingual angioedema. And this risk may be increased when combined with angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. Reteplase and tenecteplase are approved only for use in acute myocardial infarction. Reteplase may also be used off label in deep venous thrombosis and massive pulmonary embolism. Both agents have longer half-lives than alteplase. Urokinase is produced naturally in the body by the kidneys. It directly cleaves the arginine valine bond of plasminogen, converting it to the active plasmin. It is only approved for lysis of pulmonary emboli. It may also be used off-label, in the treatment of acute myocardial infarction arterial thromboembolism, coronary artery thrombosis, and deep venous thrombosis. Its use has largely been supplanted by other agents, with a more favorable benefit to risk ratio. Streptokinase works by forming an active 1 to 1 complex with plasminogen. Then this enzymatically active complex, converts uncomplexed plasminogen to the active enzyme plasmin. It catalyzes the hydrolysis of fibrin plugs, as well as catalyzing the degradation of fibrinogen, and the clotting factors 5 and 7. Streptokinase is rarely used now, and is no longer available in many markets. And finally, anistroplase. It is an acylated form of the streptokinase plasminogen complex. Acylation makes the complex temporarily inactive. After deacylation, which begins immediately after injection, the streptokinase plasminogen complex promotes thrombolysis, by speeding the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin. It lies coronary artery thrombi, when given intracoronary or intravenously. That's all for this video. In the next lecture we'll talk about the drugs used for bleeding. So subscribe and wait for the next video.